Hey guys, welcome back to another Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles X Listener. And we I am here with another Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles X Listener. And today's video I have brought to you a Leonardo X Listener You First Met Part 2. And if you haven't seen part one yet please um sub please go to my channel and like watch part one because that that was the uh first video i met i uh, not met made um so to catch you guys up on part one technically you and april were like going back to school and it was your first day and you um you are like april's best friend so she kind of wanted to know if she could trust you on introducing you to her f turtle friends and that's when you met leonardo and donnie and mikey and Raphael and splinter and and april's cat mayhem well you always knew about mayhem but you never knew about the turtles Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Description will be d down below. Also, this is inspired by these. Are, this video is expi inspired by Fandom's ex listener and and um Leo's fun party 2.0. So I am like I love their shows. I love their I love their channel. Anyways, let's get onto the video. So it was like 3.56 in the morning and you decided to get ready and make breakfast for everyone. You decided you were going to make pancakes with sausages and eggs. So after you get dressed, you start cooking breakfast. After you made breakfast, you made some coffee for yourself and the others as well. But for Mikey, you just made a nice hot cup of tea for him because you didn't know if he was old enough to drink coffee you then you then look up to see splinter you said good morning to him as he was grabbing one of the cups of coffee and he he says good morning to you back and asked if asked you a question listener did you make these for us this for us you replied um, yes, I did. I just thought since you guys were so nice to me and allowed me to stay the night here, I just think it's nice to return the favor by making you guys some breakfast and coffee and tea, if that's okay with you. He sighed. Of course it's okay with me, my dear. I just want you to be comfortable around me and my sons. I don't want you to be scared that you might ex you might feel to expose us to anyone. You looked at Splinter with a shocked and kind of scared face. You were thinking that you would never ever expose the turtles cuz literally the turtles are like April's best friends. And you would never do anything to try to break April's trust or break her friendship, because I think if you would, if you were friends, I would. I think if you were like friends with April or something, and you broke her trust and exposed her friends to everyone, she would probably never ever dreamt about being your friend ever, and she would think she could never trust you with anything or any secrets. And I think that would just, like, ruin your friendship for good. Anyways, you t you sighed and told Splinter that you, would n you were comfortable around him and his sons, and you would never do anything to expose them. He sighed in relief, and you hugged him. He hugged you back, and after a small hug, you guys both started to hear the others waking up and coming to eat breakfast. After breakfast... 
April got undressed and you guys left the lair walking off to school. As you were walking to school, April looked at you and tapped your shoulder. Um, listener, you do know you have Leo's sweater on still, right? You look and you realize that you still had it on you blushed a little and then you you were like you don't think leo would mind if i used it for the rest of the day right she replied in like a i don't care kind of tone yeah he probably won't mind Sorry, I just had something. He probably won't mind. He hasn't asked for it back at breakfast, so I guess that means he doesn't mind. You... You you said you guessed so, and you guys continue walking to school. As the same as yesterday, you guys... You guys both went off to your separate classes and met up after school. But this time, you decided you wanted to head back to your apartment. You got inside your apartment, and your parent and your mom and dad greeted you with warm hugs. Okay, so I don't know which what which parent you guys have. Either mom or dad lives with you. It doesn't matter. You guys can decide. But um, any questions the mom or dad has for you... That 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 would just be like the whole the whole time as like as they're t- as they're talking to you. I just put both because um I didn't know which one you guys had. So anywho's back to the video. Your mom greeted you. Oh hi listener. How how was school? You replied. It was good, mom. Nothing crazy today. And she asked, how was your day, how was your night sleeping over at April's house? You, you looked in confusement and you realized, oh shit, I didn't tell my mom I was at, I was going to be not here for the rest of the night. You might have thought April texted your mother and told her where you were, so you didn't mind you just had to figure out an answer so you replied oh it was fun mom i forgotten to pack some i forgotten to pack some clothes but april had some spare clothes for me to wear your dad questioned you is that why you have that blue hoodie on you were like shit i forgot i had this too Ooh. so you had to think of an answer fast you were like yeah she she let me use it for the rest of the day. But anywho, I'm going to wash up for dinner and then go to bed. After you finished washing up, you gotten out of the shower and gotten out of the shower. You gotten dressed for bed and you went to go before you went to bed, you went to go eat dinner. You had a small little chat with your parents, but you didn't have the chat you didn't let the chat be too long or else they would have probably found out your your secret about the turtles. You finished dinner and headed off to to bed and and your parents were finished cleaning up and they headed into their room, slowly starting to fall asleep. You were just lying in your bed until you heard a gentle knock at your window. It was Leonardo. You were wondering why he was at your window apartment this late at night. Leo? What are you doing here? And at this time of night, my parents will probably hear you. They're still awake. They're not fully asleep yet. And how did you get my address? Oh, hi, listener. Um, um, April gave me um, your address because I wanted to know if you still had my hoodie. Sorry if I woke you up, darling. You blushed at the nickname Darling, but... Of course, you should have known Leonardo would be the flirty one of the family. As Mikey is the sweet and kind artist one, 
Donatello is the brainy scientist, no offense, Donatello, emo one, and Raph is, li- Raph is like the big teddy bear, kind of like brave, um, strong one, and like defensive, of course, Leonardo would have been the flirty one, and like the trying to be the funny one. <laughs> You hand, you walked off to grab his hoodie, and you handed it to him. And you told him he had to leave because cause you didn't want your parents waking up and finding out about him. But before he left, he had a question to ask you. Um, listener, before I leave, I wanted to, well, we wanted to know when you were coming back to the lair. I mean, we really miss having you around and we even made an area for you when you decided to sleep over in the lair again you blushed at his question and you replied that's so sweet that you guys were thinking about me and that you guys miss having me there and that you guys made like a little area for me to sleep in that's so cute I'll probably come over tomorrow, and if not, I'll come over this weekend, okay? He smiled. He kind of blushed, too. You realized it, but it was probably because he was happy that you were coming over. He said, well, I'll see you then, listener. Have a good night. And he... He went off on top of the buildings, going back to the the lair. He smiled and said, Good night, Leo. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you have any request of what you want me to do for any other videos, I already have one request of doing a Donnie X Tattooed Listener. If anything, please like in the down below and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know about the uh, Leonardo X lis- X listener part one when you first met, um, check out my channel. Also, shout out to again, shout out to um fandom's ex-listener and leo's fun party 2.0 i really love their their channels and videos i like to every single one of them i find their videos very interesting especially some of the funny parts in in future leo ex-listener well done spicy spicy well done leo's fun party 2.0 that is a great one anyways if you have any request of me doing any more of rise of the teenage Mutant ninja turtles x listener i'll be gladly to make stories of those i am starting to make a part three of Leonardo X listener when you first met. I hope you guys stay tuned for it and I hope you enjoy it. And if you hear any like snoring in the background, that's my baby brother. He is cle- clearly um sleeping on top of me. I love him so much. I he is God damn, how many months is he? 10 or 9 months now. It's been a while. Cuz he, he he to be honest, he he's like my my little my little potato. He's my little potato. But yeah, this was this is about to be finished soon. 
but if again if you guys have any request and i might make like a discord so i'll leave the link in the comments i'll leave the link in the description as well in case you also still want to have like um request for me making any more i don't want to make this well i'm already making this outro very long it's just that and and like i'm like really excited because this is like a second one of my videos that i actually made of a rise of the teenage mutant ninja turtles leo x listener this is the second one and i'm like very excited of how it is, how it is going so please like and subscribe and i will see you my lovelies all in the next video also, if you want to check out the, the if you want to read it on your own, it the I'll put the link in the description for Tumblr.com, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Also, if any of you are having any problems, like family problems or family issues, you can always like. You can always, like, talk to me in my Discord, and I'll reach out to you. Anyways, bye, my lovelies. Mwah. Love y'all.